Hey, why don't you make a video game? One single solo developer made Lethal Company and made many millions of dollars, became a multi-millionaire with it, and self-published. Well, yeah, I'm technically not joking, that could happen, but statistically that is insanely unlikely. In this video, I want to show you what the most likely reality looks like. So you're a new solo game developer or want to become one? Then depending on your already existing skills, it will take you either a while or a really long time to make something presentable, like the first area to run around in or so. If you have no previous programming knowledge, then I highly recommend the Godo game engine, which I use too. Its own GD script programming language is super easy to learn and very beginner friendly. There's documentation for methods, functions and so on online, and there are lots of forums online where you can look things up, or you just ask ChatGPT. If you're completely new to making art and don't have money to pay an artist, well, well, what I personally do is I make my own textures with GIMP. If you have no idea how to make music, then you will either have to learn it or pay someone to make music for your game. So let's just look at the games that get released every day. A lot of video games are released every single day on Steam, on itch.io. And what do they usually look like? Well, like these here. Almost no followers and even games that look pretty good visually. Like for example, Cartoon Survivor. I think this game looks pretty okay. It's presentable. And there's a pre existing audience, almost 3,000 followers on Instagram, more than 2,000 followers on Twitter X, almost 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, etc. But despite that, only 5 followers on Steam, zero reviews, zero people in-game, despite those thousands of followers, that's a bit weird. But hey, many developers collaborate with publishers, and maybe that was your plan anyways. Let's take a look at Clive and Ranch. It was developed by one single solo developer called Rob Wall for over 10 years, more than a decade, and with publisher Numskull Games. Well, okay, about 100 reviews in the last two years. What about my game? I started working on my game Tim and Harpy about two months ago. I thought I'd first try self-publishing, and if that doesn't work out, I will look for a publisher. So when I had the first area done, and I felt like I could show what I have so far, I asked ChatGPT how to post my first devlog. ChatGPT told me to be active on many different platforms platforms and post devlogs everywhere. So against my will, I made an account on Toxic Twitter X, on IndieDB, and posted my first devlog on many different accounts, YouTube, etc. I joined hashtag screenshot Saturday and the result was you know, no matter how many accounts you have, all of them start with zero followers. If you have a million accounts, then you have a million accounts with zero followers. So the conclusion of this video, should you become a solo game developer? If you want to, if you want to play basketball, then go ahead and play basketball. If you want to play soccer, then play soccer. If you want to make a game, then make a game. Should you expect a lot of money, attention or fame? No absolutely not. Just like any hobby, you should do it for fun, because you enjoy it. Most people on this planet don't make money with their hobbies. On the contrary, it's normal to spend money on a hobby. A snowboard costs money, a basketball costs money, golf equipment costs money. A hobby is for fun and only very very few make money with their hobbies. Have passion projects because you find them fun and because you enjoy them. Should you look for a publisher? I would say yes. Why not? The only reason why you would not do that is because you don't want to share the income. But as a completely new solo developer who just started, I think it's obvious that you most, most likely won't make it very far. And in my personal opinion, you shouldn't care this much about money. That's like playing basketball for the very first time and expecting to join the NBA immediately. Tim and Harpy is a passion project. And in order to get more eyes on it, and because I want to share my love for retro 3D platformer collectathons, I will look for a publisher. They can do the advertising and in exchange, I don't care how big of a cut they want. It would just make me happy to have people play and enjoy my game. If you want to make game development your full-time job and livelihood, then okay, that's a goal. But be aware that you're a beginner and it's probably too early for that with zero experience, zero following and so on. You can start with publishers and should you ever become an established, well-known, famous developer, then you can switch to self-publishing. Until then, it's statistically insanely unlikely that you'll succeed all alone as a complete beginner. That's my video on starting as a solo game developer in 2025. If you liked it, then there's a like button for you. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you're new here, check out Tim and Harpy and consider subscribing. Bye!